Hey, what's going on, good people? Welcome to another edition of Russ Can't Fly. Let's go to the airport, let's get it. Perfect. Oh wait, before I get to the airport, let me send my subscriber shout out to Elton Reeves. Brother Reeves, thank you so much for supporting the channel. Thank you for commenting and you know helping me out on this journey. Um, people like you make this journey possible and make it survivable. Um, sometimes I'm just like, I can't get it. I'm frustrated, I can't stand it. They keep canceling, I can't round out, I can't flare, I can't fly a good pattern. But you know, folks reach out and they give positive feedback and it really helps. All right, so thank you brother Reeves for helping a brother out on his journey. Appreciate you definitely supporting me. All right, now let's get out of here. Gotta fly. To make life a little easier, make sure that's locked, throttle. Inch, clear prop, feet on the brakes, wrong key. <laughs> it wouldn't be a flight with Russ no. unless the key is wrong. It wouldn't be a flight with someone some golf is <laughs> Air controls. Right. Air controls. So good. So one thing before we go, can you set this up if you remember from last time? Yeah, I do I'm it. trying to remember, so. Can you? Uh, you can put fuel on board if you want. Or you can just click there. And we have 40 gallons of fuel to. Okay. Continue. All right. So we want to go. You remember we set up the OBS last time, right? Kind of, sort of. Okay. So, um. First off, look at this, right? We're on VOR mode here. Right? Okay. So in order to change that, we need to change the nav source. Okay. The GPS, when all right? So you go default nav, Three zero six Charlie, and then change and this, press that CDI button, taxi. and you see now it's a GPS. Okay, four, okay. Yeah, okay. All right. So OBS, you see how the OBS is right there as well? See, yeah. It's, it's, you can't click on it, right? Because it's not there, because there's nothing, there's no direct to the GPS. We're not going anywhere, so it doesn't know what to OBS. Okay. Okay, so you have to go direct to Wingsfield. Do you remember how to do that? Uh, there's a button. It's on touch screen button. It's a button on here. I think it was like here. This button. Oh, that's right. right. The, it's just, if you think about it, just the D with the arrow direct. Through it, right? Okay. D direct. Press that in. And then you press select waypoint. And the nearest one is usually up top there. Okay. And then you activate it. All right. So now we're going direct to the middle of the wings. Right? Gotcha. Now you want to go back to the menu portion of it. Right? And then the default nav. And then now the OBS is available for you. Okay. All right, OBS, now you're in OBS mode, OBS right there well, as well. And now in order to change the course, we're going to go 2 runway 24, which is a course of 245, right? Right. So you want to remember, press that knob in, and then all the way to OBS where that's at. Burn it, good, now press it in, and now set the course to 245. That's the line, that's the line for the center line, right? It's gonna help you, right? Yeah, you remember sure. how to set your altitude? Yeah, we're gonna go to 1,500, right? Uh, uh, depart, off the departure end, good. 1, 2, 4, then, departing the area to the west, wing. Yep, you get, it's not touch oh. right? Yep, there you go. <laughs> there you go. And that's in there, perfect, right? All so right, now cool. our instruments are kind of set where we want it. All right, cool. You you can do, I like to do it the one of the first things, but you can do it up there as well. It's another way for like on a cold day to help warm up the engine. You yeah. Know? Or you start taxiing or something like that. Yeah, I'd probably do this first just to kind of make sure that yeah. that's set, you know. So yeah. that's something I'll definitely be watching. And back. we can go back to the map here as well. Good. All right. Very good. All right, very good. Wings traffic, Cessna 717, Golf. Taxiing from the upper ramp for runway 24, Wings. Originally, I was going to cut this part of the video out just to save time. But I thought, wait a minute, this is really important to show. One of the things that you just saw was that my CFI was leading me through a process of setting up the flight instruments. Now, as you can see in 717 Golf, it has a glass panel or at least partial panel. In other words, it has electronic flight systems in it. Um, it'll allow you to set up GPS coordinates, waypoints, things like that. 
we're not going anywhere yet because I'm not doing cross country flights, so there's not, you know, flying from one airport to another. But by setting these flight instruments, what it allows me to do is to set up what's called situational awareness. It allows me to track where I am in space electronically. Now, I don't want to get used to just depending on these instruments. Pilotage is something where you you know know where you are based on you know other more less you know complicated less mechanical means like water towers and things like that but this was just an example of hey listen if you have the instruments set them up so that you can use them and it's just another piece of equipment that allows you to understand where you are in space that way you can be safe you can know where you are in terms of um, airspace, other airplanes, things like that. So anything to help you with situational awareness, it's you know definitely something you should utilize. And so that's why I kept this part of the uh, you know of the lesson in and didn't edit it out for time. So right here, it says pre-takeoff brief right there. Okay. All right, so these are all the events you want to brief for. Oh, right? so, so for air... Oh. Starting up there. So throttle immediately... Okay. So like you'll, you'll start from Oh, in the right. event of engine failure, prior to rotation, uh, throttle immediately close on the brakes, exit the runway. You just uh, want to stop. Go straight, straight ahead, okay. If not enough runway remains to stop, mixture idle cutoff. Interesting. Fuel selector rotate to off. Magneto's off, battery master off. So the point of that, right, is it's assuming that you're going to roll off the runway into trees or something, grass or something like that, right? You're crashing. So you're crashing, right? <laughs> so you want to make sure you turn everything off. Okay. Um, when you're doing a, when we do a engine out stuff, like practicing engine outs and losing your engine up and altitude or something like that, and usually the field to land, one of the most important things is to make sure you turn everything off before you land. Interesting. Right? Okay. Okay. Um, engine failure after rotation with sufficient runway remaining for a complete stop. Throttle immediately closed, we'll land straight ahead, brake as required. Engine failure after rotation, no runway remaining. Oh, so this is a uh, pitch for VG? Yeah, which is 65 in our plane, right? Okay, yeah. Fuel selector rotate off. Mixture idle cut off. Magnetos, you turn off. Flaps adjust as neat, so I guess you just gotta make a so flaps is flaps is you you decide like what you need right that's and again once we're doing actual engine out stuff you'll see like when do I put flaps in right one of most important things when you're doing engine out stuff is if you put your flaps in you can't take them out gotcha. you lose so much lift that you'll essentially just like, you'll, you'll just drop right and you feel that when you take flaps right. out right when you're going around and stuff like that yeah um, so you can't take the flaps out right but it's the same idea where it's when you lose your engine up at altitude or you just rotate or something like that you're just gonna pitch for best glide Landing, choose a spot, land straight ahead, you know, you'll probably have no time for turns or anything like that. Gotcha. Um, landing straight ahead, and then quickly turning everything on. Mixture, cool, mixture lean, uh, mixture lean, fuel section idle, cut off, battery master off, ease out. Gotcha. It, right? Okay. I'm going to take a picture of that. That's good. Yeah. So again, this is another one of those things that I would normally cut out as a time saver, but I thought this was just too good to take out. What you saw here was my CFI instructing me on a pre-takeoff briefing in terms of what you do if things go wrong and if you remember my last video when I did my mock check ride I tried to go through that a little bit myself but my CFI had this amazing checklist that I could use and so we went through that doing a pre-flight brief is absolutely essential I am not going to pass my check ride if I don't do it but the other thing is this is good technique. If I get used to just briefing, in the event that the engine goes out, because that's always a possibility, I'll be ready to deal with it because it will be part of my normal routine. And so that's why I wanted to leave this in because it was just fantastic instruction, but it also showed you a very important component of my training which is the pre-flight briefing. All right, let me go up to the hold short. Take my call. 
And when we'll, we'll, we shut down, remind me to tell to show you how to turn the fuel selector off because it's a little. It's not hard, but it's not just turning it. Oh no. No. Interesting. You have to like turn it to the left or right, and then pull up, and then turn it down. Turn oh, it. interesting. Yeah, well, yeah. You had to show me that. Yeah. All right, nobody coming on final, nobody on the field. Wings traffic, Cessna 717 Golf, taking runway 24, staying in the pattern, Wings. Hey, you'll definitely have to show me that, because my assumption is you just keep turning it. All uh, right, so that's <laughs> the only thing is like, that could easily happen, let's say, you have for some reason you need to go to one tank, right? And he's slipping, you easily just turn it all the way oh, off, yeah. right? They, they, you can't, like, they need a little bit of a, a safeguard for that aspect of it, right? Gotcha, gotcha. You turn that, that off, sense. right? You'll lose your engine. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Not a good day. All right. Center line on the runway here. Get lined up. All right. Checking compass. 240. Everything looks good. Heels to the floor. Full power. Engine instruments in the green. A little bit of rudder. Airspeed's alive. And rotate. Perfect. Yeah, we should tell someone about that. Yeah, I saw that when I came up and parked in the parking lot. I'm like, the daggone. The windsock is all twisted up. Yeah, there's just no wind right now. Beautiful day right now. Yeah. Supposed to be a beautiful day all day. That's why I'm used to fighting this thing. Yeah. So I left a lot of stuff in this video uh, just to show you some other aspects of my flight training. But really, this video was all about managing the energy um, as I go for a landing or I'm in the pattern. Um, and round out and flare and all that kind of stuff. So this is really about airspeed management and really trying to focus on that aspect of flight. Uh, left on wind, three, five, all right, looking for my thousand. So I can make my left crosswind turn. Good, yeah, keep talking to yourself through it. Keep yeah, <laughs> absolutely. It'll help you even when I'm not here, right? Right. And again, we're working for you to do it by yourself, right? So, yep. make your corrections as you need. I'm going to try and be as quiet as possible. All right, turn and crosswind. Cheers, when I go Foxtrot, base 32, Bob. Trying to be mindful of my bank angles. All right, let's pick that wing up. Mama traffic, so you want to go Fox, final 3-2, Mama. Wings traffic, Cessna 717 off, turning downwind for one way 24, wings. Your traffic, Cessna 3812, left base, go final 3-5-2. Laird Town traffic, Skyhawk entering left base, 25, Laird Town. All right, keep that nose coming up. Still looking my, for my TPA. Over there's a little bit of wind pushing us over on the runway, yep. right? You see this? This is our ground track. Yeah, right? okay. So right now our ground track is about 075, right? So you got to bring it back to the, to, the, to the left here. Right? You want to put that diamond right on the end of that. Oh, right? gotcha, gotcha. Oh, that purple All right. Line. Pitch. Power. Yeah, you can power back a little bit more, right to the top. So you don't have to slow down too much. Right. Yeah, even more power up. Alright, we're being the numbers. Car P. Power to 1500. Looking for the white arc for the first notch of flaps. All right, 10 degrees of flaps. Nose coming down. 
Split the traffic, 2803, joining the downwind. Uh, Local for a good 45. Seven. Airspeed looks good. Wake traffic, checking to Tango Whiskey, spotting two four wings. And on the Wake traffic, test the 717 golf, turning base for one way two four wings. Alright, second degree, 20 degrees of flaps. So we're coastal traffic, ag aircraft working a half mile southeast of the field, 500 feet below Delaware Coastal. Long executive uh, 524 Delta Bravo is about 9 miles to the uh, northeast in Bible. One nose coming down. I think I active that moment right now. Wake traffic, Cessna 717 golf turning, fake uh, final for one way two four wing. Alright, I'm a little high. 30 degrees of flash. Wake final traffic, four out back turn runoff at the site. We're gonna part after you to the northeast. Roger. A little high. What's my speed? 70. Getting a little low. Uh, we're caravan, uh, now we're six miles good. to the uh, Northeast Planet Mitchell Cross on the three two. So a little high. Traffic not available. Right. Power to idle. Traffic four up X-ray lining up waiting two four. Oh. <laughs> Come on, baby. You could have flared a little bit more at the end there, but okay. you, were, you were you were fighting it fine. The reason we floated so far, we were a little fast. On yeah, the speed was so fast. fast. Yeah, right? yeah. And you saw how far we floated, right? Right. In this plane, I kind of like to be closer to 60, 60, to be honest. Okay. I say 65, but I like to be closer to 60, because even then, you still float like a ton. Yeah. Right? But you, you were like doing make the right corrections, right? Just a little bit more of a flare there, right at the end, right. before we touched down. Gotcha. Right? But that was pretty good. I mean, the approach is good, just a little fast. That's yeah. Thanks. So because my airspeed management or my energy management wasn't where it needed to be, man, that airplane floated at least another like 50 yards down the runway. And it all had to do with the fact that I didn't have good energy or airspeed management. And so when I was trying to level off and flare and all of that kind of stuff, was just going too fast so that's why this is one of those parts that i really need to focus on now to kind of round everything out if i get good airspeed management i'm doing de decent on my round outs my flare will be better and the airplane will settle a lot quicker all right so let's go to a last um landing and wrap this lesson up all right here we go there's a lot happening real fast wings traffic Cessna 717 golf taking runway 24 staying in the pattern wings as i heard something about that techno man oh he's buzzing around somewhere uh, he, i think he departed to the northwest okay okay so really going to focus on trying to do a lot more airspeed or energy management and uh, really try to focus on flying a good pattern. And as you see, I'm just trying to get used to just talking my way through it so that when it's time to go by myself, I know exactly what right. I'm supposed to do. And I do the same thing when it's time to solo. Straighten the wheel, center, everything looks good. Hills to the floor, full power. Engine instruments in the green. Airspeed is alive. And we got 55. And rotate.
Nose coming down. 20 degrees of flaps. Take my speed. 75. Okay, so I'm 75 knots on base, and I want to be 65 when I turn final, um, so I can be prepared to really control my energy coming across the fence. Uh, Bomb traffic, uh, 421 yeah. and impact, cuff pattern to the southwest. Wings traffic, Cessna 717 Golf, turning final for one way two four wings. <laughs> 30 degrees of flaps. Uh, a little high. I'm going to produce uh, power. Fox, three miles to the south. A little fast. Alright, 70. I'll go power right on. Close down traffic. Sonic. Robinsville traffic, Cherokee, five miles out, approaching from the north at 2,800 to fly in the field. Uh, just a little more, still a little, just a little too fast, fast right? Another way also, we have 40 degrees of flaps, right? Okay. That's another way you can slow it right down. Okay. But okay. so if you find yourself fast again, just put 40 degrees of flaps, just understand that it'll be ballooning. It's gonna be ballooning, uh, okay. Right? Just, and a, just a little bit more back pressure there to okay. hold it off, hold it off, hold it off. Okay. Now I, I always just do it once I get, you got slow enough there, if you just kept on holding, 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 that would have been a nice soft land. Okay. But again, pattern is great, so. Thank you. It's just, it's just, it's just, just the last part there. <laughs> the most important part. Yeah. Oh. so another great lesson um getting closer but you know the whole thing needs to come together i get my approach i'm good but then my round out is a little weak okay so i did not get my round out i mean my approach my round out and my flare is weak all right good then i get my approach round out flare and i float and balloon and all kinds of stuff well because my energy management is not where it needs to be so that's the last piece of this like i finally understand a very um coordinated approach i know how to look at my target all that kind of stuff definitely getting uh better at figuring out when to round out you know not to be too close so i don't touch and hit and all that kind of stuff um but still trying to figure out the airspeed management portion because sometimes I'm coming with too much speed that's causing me to float a lot down the runway and then if I flare too early then I balloon and I have to end up going around so round out flare mm, getting there it's definitely energy or airspeed management that is that last piece of fruit that I need to pluck from the tree of aviation. All right, yeah, I'll start tripping, but I'm getting there. I'm getting there. So I thank you all for, you know, joining me on this crazy journey. Um, wow, I'm like, what, 24, 25 lessons in? Um, I think I'm about 30 hours or so 
Um, so, but of course, a lot of that got slowed down from COVID and stuff. So I had to kind of do some backtracking, but I'm making progress in it to win it gonna have make this happen so anyway if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet i'd be honored if you would do so thank you for joining me on this journey russ can fly russ kid i'm out see ya